Right, welcome back everyone to another video. I just wanted to show you all uh, a quick update of my some of my house plants. So I was trying to think of how to do this because a lot of you have asked for an updated like plant tour and that just at the moment is not possible with how my room is because it is very, very, very full and it's just gonna be a mess of a video. So what I've decided to do for now is just take one um, genus of my house plants and show you all of them. So today um, I decided to start with my Sansevierias because they are all looking pretty good and um, my house, my um, Sansevieria collection video is quite popular so a lot of you like that so I thought I'd show you that first and then I can move on with um, my succulents and etc. Um, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've got seven, um, seven specimens here, um, all of which you have seen, apart from one. So I will start with my. I'll start with the least favorite and then move up to my favorite. So this I've counted it as a specimen, even though it really isn't. But I have a cutting, which um, is from my other Sansevieria, but. Um, uh, it snapped off so I cut it and it is rooting and I have no plans for that I just thought I'd stick it in a jar and it looks quite nice on the desk so there's that guy and that is Sansevieria trifasciata what was the name of that I'm not sure I'll put the name here if I can remember but it's from my big one that I got from Ikea <clears throat> uh, my second one I'll show you it won't say my second least favourite but my second the second one I'll show you is my Sansevieria cylindrica. This is the starfish. Um, I know it was a little bit confusing in my last video because I called it a Sansevieria um, cylindrica, but there are different types of cylindrica. So this one is looking okay. Well, it's looking nice. It is really nice. I haven't got it a pot yet, and the babies are starting to grow, but I have not watered this for well over a month, so I've really been neglecting it. But doesn't it look nice in that lighting? It's really nice. And the babies are starting to grow. They're feeling a little squishy because they need water, but looking nice. And I'll stra I'll straighten it up when when I put it in a pot. So I'll plant it obviously up straight and remove these guys. Um, take them, like divide them, separate them. Um, so yeah, that's looking really good. I don't think that's grown at all. This leaf is the newest leaf, and it doesn't look any longer. Can you call it a leaf? What's that called? Um, it's not any longer than it was, and if it is, it's like millimeters different. So, but that is really pretty, really nice in that light. You can see all the like the detailing and the the lines and texture, really good. Um, I, I'll try and mention prices if you guys are interested. I'll say it anyway. But well, I think I think this was six quid from IKEA. Right. Next, I have this one in a very small pot, and I am aware that the pot is too small for it. So hold fire um, but it looks really nice in this pot so <laughs> um, and this I got this pot for Christmas from my parents and this is the Sansevieria oh I can't remember the name of it um, but it's not the typical whale fin it was a different one I'll put it here because I will remember it it will be written down somewhere but this is as they most most of them are sold as leaf cuttings. So this is a rooted cutting, and it was five ninety nine. Um, obviously without the pot, and I don't think I've shown this on my channel. I'm not sure, but it's really pretty. Could do with a little bit of water, but I know that pot is too small. But these take such a long time to grow any new shoots, so it is going to be fine in here for a, a few months. Maybe I'll transfer it in the summer. But yeah, that's really nice, and that pot is so cool. So there's a little tongue sticking out, awesome. And that is actually a handmade pot that my mum got me for uh, Christmas. She got it from like a hand, a handmade shop. I don't know what they're called. <laughs> right, so there's that. What's my least favorite after that? I'm doing it in such a weird order. I'll show you my other, so Sansferia Trifasciata, don't remember the name again, but I'll include it here. Um, and this I did transplant into a bigger pot and it has grown some lovely new leaves you can see the new ones are the lighter colors so here and i've got i looked at it today and i thought that's a bit strange like the the leaves are curling you can see there's like a weird curl um i've been watering it i've watered it maybe once every two three weeks 
yeah roughly so I'm not sure why that's doing that but if you guys know let me know but that's looking really nice I do really like the younger leaves um, more than the older leaves you see this side has a lot more old leaves but looking really nice and this pot uh, this one was six quid as well the same as the other Sansevieria the Cylindrica um, from Ikea and the pot I do not know the name I <laughs> the name is a pot I don't remember where I got it from and I don't remember the price because this was in my cupboard and I discovered it recently uh, like it's been in there for years so but it's just one of those general ones that you can get you, I think you can get them from most like just cheap shops but that's looking quite nice in that pot putting on a lot of new growth and then um, my Sansferia trifasciata the variegata um, I'm not sure whether it is was it trifasciata and there's another one I'm like I've not been revising the names of my plants recently so um, if I do come up with it I'll put it uh, I'll write it here but this has exploded it's looking really good I'll insert a clip of what it looked like in my last video because right now look at that it is absolutely filled out and it's looking so healthy because I had this in my window for a couple of years and I didn't water I watered it probably once every two months and it was obviously it was surviving but it wasn't thriving and um, all these I don't know if you can really see but there's a lot of babies and a lot of like new new plant plantlets like here for example you can see one here and a lot of those were on it last year but hadn't grown because I hadn't watered it whereas now I'm watering it a lot more often and looking after it better it's really filling out and looking good so that just looks lovely and I'm I don't mind it being in this pot because it's not got no label on it or anything and it, it, it just I think the pot goes with it I think it just goes so I don't think I need to get it its own pot I quite like that tell me what you think what do you think or what part would what color pot would you put this in if you were to because I think it looks nice in this in this clay terracotta color but let me know what you guys think that is looking really good um, I haven't taken any propagations or cuttings off that uh, right next I'll show you my moonshine now if you um, have been on my channel for a while you'd know that when I got this plant it was suffering from compact it was compaction then root rot and then it had hardly any roots when I kind of transplanted it because of the way it was potted up it was potted up in like really um, compact coconut fiber like coir and now it's looking okay it's not looking great I mean it looks really pretty but and it's very big but it hasn't grown any new shoots no new leaves nothing which I wasn't expecting it to do I want it to just focus on growing roots so for now it's really big it's looking it looks good unless you look it up close <laughs> like I don't know I mean it does look good it's just not it's just recovering at the moment so it's not gonna start doing well until it's fully recovered and it's they are still a little bit wobbly in their pots it's been a while now so they should have grown quite a few nice new roots but I don't want to mess around with it too much just in case it hasn't because it's still very top heavy because the leaves are huge but it, isn't that a lovely lovely color so nice so yeah that was my favorite but now it's oh, I don't know it, it still is one of my favorites but it's like been a bit of a war patient for me so it's recovering so yeah just let you know it's doing okay and I'll keep you updated with it um, it hasn't died obviously and I did cut off a couple of leaves because I gave some leaf cuttings to someone um, although oh I forgot one where is that my little moonshine leaf cutting let me just grab that Right, so I, whilst I was talking about my moonshine, I just remembered that I did have a moonshine leaf cutting, and um, this is really dry, like I haven't really been looking after it that much, but it has started to grow a nice little baby, and someone mentioned in one of my comments a while ago, what did they say? They said something about um, when you take Sansevieria leaf cuttings, they don't come true. Um, if it's a variegated leaf that you've taken the cutting of the it won't grow variegated leaves it will revert to the trifasciata or something like that 
And then I wondered whether that would be the same with the moonshine. So I looked it up. I remember looking it up and I don't remember what I found, but this was a really long time ago, like months ago. And I remember thinking, oh, they do look like they're going to come up true to type. But you can see here, let me just close my window. Right, sorry about that. I've got, there's noise outside. So um, as you can see, it's coming up looking like this guy. So I'm not sure whether the colours will fade on this, but that was a moonshine leaf cutting and it's coming up looking like that. So let me know if you've taken moonshine leaf cuttings before and how it's turned out for you. But I have a huge moonshine, so I'm not worried about that one anymore. Um, I was a little bit like bummed out about it when that person said it, but it looks cute still. <laughs> I do need to put it in a better pot, but no, not a priority at the moment. It's still in the pot that it was taken in. Um, yeah, so there's him. And then my last one is the one that you're probably all here for, which is like the star of the show and is looking great. And that is my um, Sansevieria Silver Flame, um, which I'll quickly insert a picture here of what it looked like when you last saw it. I've got dirt on my hand. Um, and right now it is it has exploded, looking really good, and it has grown so much. So these, you can see there's three um, new shoots come up. So it's really filling out, really filling the pot out nicely. And hopefully it will continue to spread because I don't want to divide it yet. I want to wait for these to thicken up a lot so it looks similar to the um, moonshine. But yeah, it's just looking so good. And I think it looks nice in that pot as well because the black I don't know why, I think it like contrasts with the dark green quite nicely. So that is looking really nice, really good. The leaves are still really shiny because when I did buy it, I did uh, wonder whether they were shiny because they'd used chemicals on it, like um, leaf shine. I know you can buy leaf shine for plants, but no, I can confirm they are just really shiny and they stay shiny. So if you're considering getting one and you find one and don't pick it up, go back and get it. <laughs> unless you don't want it. I will not force you to buy one. But look at that, that is like a show stealer. Show stealer or is it show stopper? I don't know. Right, um, so that is gonna be it. My eyes are watering so I'm gonna sneeze. Right, so I'll end the video off here. Um, thank you guys all for watching. Let me know what your favorite one was of, out of my Sansevieria's. And I'll just hold up a couple to show you whilst I'm saying goodbye. <laughs> But um, yeah, if you enjoyed, leave a like. Uh, please subscribe if you would like to um, to see more videos of mine. I'll be uploading a few greenhouse videos shortly, which I'm planning to um, record today. So if you guys are wanting to see that, make sure you're subscribed. Uh, leave a comment. Start start a conversation down in the in the disc in the chat. I always call it description. But um, yeah, thank you all for watching. I'll see you in my next video.